this is a series of videos on the history of pi. And if you don't know what pi is or you don't remember, it's actually a very simple concept. So if we start with a circle and we look at the length across the circle through its center point, which is known as the diameter, and we compare this to the length around the circle, which we call the circumference, circumference, then pi is defined to be the ratio of the circumference of the circle divided by the diameter of the circle. So if the diameter, which I'll call d, is equal to 1, then the length around the circle, the circumference, which I'll call c, is equal to pi. And today, we know that pi is equal to 3.141592, and this goes on forever. Pi has an infinitely long decimal expansion, and we call numbers like these irrational numbers. Irrational. And this symbol for pi was popularized by the mathematician Leonard Euler, in the 1700s. And once Euler started using this symbol, basically everyone else adopted the symbol as well. But the history of pi starts way back with the Babylonians. The Babylonians had an ancient value for pi of 3, but we were able to find a clay tablet dated between 1900 and 1600 BCE where the Babylonians used a value of pi that was 3 and 1 eighth, which as a decimal is 3.125. And around the same time period, we also had the Egyptians. And through an ancient document we found, known as the Rhine Papyrus, we know that the Egyptians used a value of pi that was 16 divided by 9 squared which as a decimal is about 3.1605. And after these two civilizations, we have the Indians, and around 600 BCE, they used a value of pi that was 9,785 divided by 5,000 568 and this quantity is squared so as a decimal this is about 3.088 and in the year 150 BCE the Indians used a value of pi that was the square root of 10 which as a decimal is about 3.1622 so you can see that they clearly improved their value of pi and the thing to notice about all of these ancient values of pi is that each one of these are just estimates. Essentially, each one of these values is an empirical value, which means that they were not deduced from some known truth. All of the values work as a good approximation to pi, but none of these civilizations were looking to find pi exactly. And it wasn't until the Greeks, namely Archimedes, in the year 250 BCE, and he was the first person to apply logic and reasoning to find pi. And he was able to find that pi is always less than 3 and 1 7, and it's always bigger than 3 and 10 divided by 71. And as a decimal, this means that pi is always less than 3.1429, and it's always bigger than 3.1408. So you can notice that Archimedes was the first person to find that pi is about 3.14. And in the next video, I will show you exactly how Archimedes was able to find this result.